everyone. So today I'm going to talk about IEX. I think you know what that is. So very last minute. Uh, so you might be familiar with IEX, and it's a really amazing tool in the Elixir uh, toolchain. And today I'm going to tell you about IEX.exs. It is this really amazing file that you can put in your home directory or in the root of your mix project. And the cool thing about it is that it acts like a regular Elixir shell that gets evaluated every time you start up IEX in your project. Uh, but there are some neat little tricks I want to show you. So let's go into this very basic sample project. Uh, is it big enough for you guys? Just awesome. Uh, so let's just start a normal Elixir shell. Uh, you can see it already says that it loaded in another IEX file from my home directory. And we can do some cool things like, that's the wrong name like find out how many atoms we are using currently in our running Beam instance. That's great. Uh, you can define modules and functions in your .ix file, but you can also do other things like define convenient functions like CLS. You can do things like define restart, and this just restarts your entire Beam instance. Uh, you can even do things like do Q. And I love to do this because I come from Erlang and I really miss Q. So uh, what's uh, the deal here? So let's uh, look at my IX file. So as you can see, we can define a convenience module called util. We can define a few helper functions like atom status, CLS, this clears the screen. Uh, we also have help. And this is where the magic starts. So you might know that in Elixir script, uh, every function needs to live inside of a module for you to be able to call it. Uh, there is a trick if you want to call something like CLS without needing to specify a module. You can create a variable, bind an anonymous function to it, and use the annoying dot syntax. Uh, but you can define a module like this with uh, an underscore, give it some kind of name. This is very optional. Then you can use the dev delegate macro, uh, delegate this to something a bit more complex, like a specific uh, module uh, that already exists in Elixir or your own custom one. Uh, for example, here with util, we can define CLS. We delegate it to util CLS, which we define up here. And it's literally just an io.puts io call. So very simple stuff, but extremely convenient. Uh, to help you out, there is a gist I published. Um, I work at Platogo. We are hiring Elixir devs. <laughs> uh, and this is my uh, website, danpetro.xyz. Thank you for listening. Hope you got something out of it. <laughs>